All right, this is fifth grade module three, lesson five. Now we're gonna be subtracting fractions and we're still gonna be using that area model as our strategy. So uh, it says use the fraction model to subtract. So uh, I'm gonna go pretty quickly. We're gonna start with two rectangles, identical rectangles. We're gonna cut this first one into sixth. So I'm gonna cut it in half and then each piece into thirds. So, and now I'm gonna shade in five sixths. One, two, three, four, five. So there's our five sixths. And then we're gonna cut this into thirds going the other way, except I wanna do it in black, thirds. And then we're gonna shade in one of those thirds. So we have five sixths here, we have one third here, and we're gonna cut each of the sixths into thirds, and we're gonna cut each of the thirds into sixths. And once again, teachers and parents, uh, we are not finding the co least common denominator right now, we're just finding a common denominator. Uh, later, we're gonna have students finding the least common denominator, but right now in this stage of development, there is no reason that students have to find the least common denominator. So right now we're just finding any old common denominator to get our answer. And so five sixths we see becomes one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. So three times five is 15. So that becomes 15 eighteenths. And then our third, one, two, three, four, five, six, becomes six eighteenths. So we end up with 15 eighteenths minus six eighteenths. And 15 eighteenths minus six eighteenths, right up here, gives us nine eighteenths. And nine eighteenths is half. Now, Let's start off with this 9 18 How do we know that the answer is really 9 18 Well, what we can do is we can say, well, we're supposed to subtract these 6 18 So we have 6, and it says start with these 15 and subtract 6. So I'm going to take off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that leaves us with these nine eighteenths left over. And boy, you can even see that that's exactly one half, isn't it? Nine eighteenths is equal to one half. Um, we're not always going to draw these uh, X's, but you can definitely show the students that that's essentially what we're doing, is this, these six eighteenths need to be subtracted, and the way we show that is by Xing them out. All right, another practice. We're going to do five sevenths and subtract two thirds. And so my five sevenths, let's see, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy, those are not even equal at all. But that's okay. It's simulating it, right? So there's one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths four-sevenths, and five-sevenths. There's my five-sevenths, and two-thirds is going to look like this, and one-third, two-thirds. So we've got five-sevenths, and we've got two-thirds, and then remember we're going to cut each of the sevenths into thirds, and each of the thirds into sevenths. And so our 5 sevenths becomes 15 21sts. If you need to, you might want to pause the video just to make sure. And then our 2 thirds becomes 14 21sts. So we have up here, we have 15 21sts, subtract 14 21sts, and that equals 1 21sts. And if we wanted to, we could show by Xing it out that these 14 need to be crossed off. So 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And there is our lowly 1 21st. Now we're going to wrap up this video with a couple of uh, word problems. But this first one here with Robin, we're not actually going to solve it because I just thought I would point this out to teachers and parents and students alike. That this question is kind of tricky, but we're not going to solve it because you're going to see. Uh, well, Robin used a quarter pound of butter, uh, of butter to make a cake. Afterward, she had five-eighths of a pound left. How much butter did she have at first? So the idea is, Robin, I'm going to make a tape diagram, and it's not going to be proportional. I'm just going to use it to help us represent the problem. So she used a quarter. Now I'm going to put this used right here. And then what was left over is she had five-eighths of a pound left over. So I'm going to put left over. And the question is, well, how much butter did she have at first? Well, that's this number right here. Well, that's not a subtraction problem. That's actually an addition problem. That's 5 eighths plus 1 fourth. And yes, you're going to draw our area rectangles and all that sort of stuff. But what was sneaky about this problem is it's an addition problem, not a subtraction problem. So I thought I would just point that out. I'll let you guys solve it on your own because we've already done addition. So let's do this problem. So we've got Katrina. She needs three-fifths of a uh, kilogram of flour for a recipe. Her mother has three-sevenths kilogram for her pantry, or in her pantry. Is this enough to make her recipe? And if it's not, how much more does she need? So basically, we need to do some subtraction. And we know that three-fifths is larger than three-sevenths. And that's because the denominator is smaller. When the de denominator is smaller, that means you're going to have bigger pieces. So this 3 means you're going to have three big pieces. And this 3 means you're going to have three small pieces. So we know 3 fifths is larger than 3 sevenths. So let's get drawing. So we're going to draw 3 fifths. And three sevenths, and one, two, three, four, five is our three fifths. One, two, three fifths. There's our three fifths, and then we're going to do our three sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, Ooh, six, seven. I'm going to squeeze that in. Uh, they're not as even as I'd like them to be or equal, uh, but that's okay. So three sevenths. One, two, three. So there's our three sevenths. And just like we've been doing all along, we're going to cut each of our fifths into sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And cut each of our sevenths into fifths. One, two, three, Four, five, and so our we end up with twenty-one thirty-fifths, and three-sevenths becomes fifteen thirty-fifths, and that is our new problem up here: twenty-one thirty-fifths minus fifteen thirty-fifths, and if we subtract, we get six thirty-fifths. So. Katrina needs, let's see if I can do it in green, yeah. She needs this much. However, she only received uh, from her mom. Her mom has this much, and that's not enough. She still needs 6 35ths left over. So she doesn't have enough, still needs... Six thirty-fifths uh, kilogram, and that is 
grade 5, module 3, lesson 5, where we're subtracting fractions using the area model.